hello guys welcome to this show gh subscribe to this channel this show gh follow us on all social media platforms this show gh let's move right into the stories mp for baligatanga central constituency isaac adoko accused minister of finance ken Oferata of denying poor pensioners their money and quoting the bible to cover it the bank of ghana that is supposed to regulate our banks was sleeping when the people were investing all their monies in government toxic assets. We have a simple principle of single obligor limits. It is a law that says that you shouldn't ever expose yourself to one person. It turned out that 75% of all the monies in the banking sector was in government bonds. Government, 71% of government domestic bonds were in the hands of these people. And the Bank of Ghana was watching on. Mr. Speaker, our pension funds, the National Pension Regulatory Authority said, go and risk 85% of your money on toxic government bonds. Mr. Speaker, where does that happen? And today, today, we are here with this boring and affirming statement. Mr. Speaker, we are not angry enough. As a country, we are not angry enough. This cannot happen to anybody. And yet, you are wasting our money, you are taking our money, and you are here reading this boring statement to us. Mr. Speaker, this is not a joke. And you are even quoting the Bible. Which of the Bibles are you quoting? <laughs> quoting the Bible in taking our money, in making us poor, in denying the poor pensioner his money, and you still are quoting the Bible. It is the reason some of us don't go to church, because in the end, this is what we get. <laughs> this is what we get. Mr. Speaker, this matter, I want to make an appeal to you to refer this matter back to the Finance Committee for proper oversight. The Bank of Ghana must come to explain to her how they allow the banking sector to help itself. The pensioners must come and explain to us. Mr. Speaker, the Ghana Amalgamated Trust must come to explain to us. Mr. Speaker, as we speak today, the Bank of Ghana is claiming it is going to throw $15 billion at this, point, at this point. Have we approved any $15 billion? They must come and explain to us how they are getting that money. Overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome. Someday, oh, yeah, we do believe we shall come someday. Just a quick one. On total exemption. Total exemption. Total exemption. On our next story, Minority Leader in Parliament, Dr. Kaso Atuforsen, has warned that 17 banks in the country are at risk as a result of the government domestic debt exchange program. His warning comes after Finance Minister Ken Ofori Atta was summoned to brief Parliament on ongoing packeting at the Finance Ministry by pensioner bondholders for an exemption from the debt exchange program. Atu Fawson, debating the program on the floor of Parliament, said it will impoverish Ghanaians and cripple some banks. 17 banks in the country are at risk as a result of domestic debt exchange program, he noted. Now, next story, which is a sad one, Christina Chu founded after Turkey earthquake. May his soul rest in peace. He was a father, a husband, and a brother. May your soul rest in peace, Christina Chu. The next story is an update. You all remember the story, uh, Deborah Serum um, suing her sugar daddy, Kwesini Makon, for breaching contract. The sugar daddy told her he will be providing some stuff for her and the sugar daddy couldn't fulfill it. So this lady took it to court and there is an update. 
court has asked a court has directed all parties to file written submission in sexual harassment case the court presided over by justice olivia obin osu directed the parties to file their submissions and then adjourned the case to february 23 for a hearing the plaintiff deborah serum adabla who served as a national service personnel at the bank has accused its cfo identified as kwesi nimakun of sexual harassment and failure to fulfill some promises made to her she accused the bank which is the second defendant of looking on while she and other female workers were sexually abused the plaintiff further accused the bank of using her and other female staff as sex bait to attract wealthy male customers to open accounts. Meanwhile, First Atlantic Bank has requested that its name be withdrawn from the lawsuit. The financial institution filed an application dated January 24th, requesting that certain paragraphs of the rate be taken out. Okay, moving on to the next story. Let's move right from there to entertainment. You know Sam Smith? If you don't understand the picture on the screen, Sam Smith is a singer. And he was attacked. Not just any attack. Charlie, you are thinking about something else. No. It's not any kind of that kind of attack. He was attacked by a woman in New York City. Hearing abusive words and calling him names. Every name under the sun. Including words that start with P and N. You belong in hell! Sam Smith belongs in hell! You demonic, twisted, sick bastard! Leave the kids alone, you sick fuck! The first record. What's Sam the record? Smith is a peril! Prove it! Prove the kids! Prove the kids! Prove the kids! You sick motherfucker, Sam Smith! You're evil! So that's it for this show, GH News. As I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe, like, share, and follow us on all social media platforms. This show, GH. You can visit our website to www.vshowgh.com. I'm out. The name is still Victoria Sequence. Bye-bye.